YouTube, Minecraft with Festus here, and today I'm back with another YouTube video. Um, today is, um, I'm, I think I'm gonna actually do now, um, uh, weekly Redstone videos on Saturday, Redstone Saturday. And, anyways, today I'm back with a, another contraption. This is the retracting floor. So, here's this hallway, there's a big pit down there, I'm not sure you guys want to fall in. Let's just say it goes about, just about to the void. Um, so, but how do we get across? Place down a lever. Voila! We have a beautiful pathway right into a chest filled with absolutely nothing. Um, now we'll head back, and we have absolutely nothing. And here we go. So, that is our, that is what I'm going to be teaching you how to build today. It's fairly simple. Um, it really... Literally, the only things you're going to need here is um, a bit of redstone, some repeaters, pistons, a block to push, and just a bunch of other spare blocks. Obviously, probably a lever to activate it. You obviously don't need to put a chest at the end. It, it's, it's just up to you. I'm going to be teaching you how to build just a retracting floor for today. So, um, let's get started. So, we're going to build this over here, right nearby. So, um... We're going to start out by building sort of basically the module we're going to constantly repeat. So, uh, as you can see, this is sort of just like one little piece of that large hallway. Um, we would probably put stone slabs in for um, that, so I'm going to quickly get that um, um, chest replace. Okay, um, so... You can, you can obviously use whatever block you want for the floor, whatever block you want for the walls. But as you can see, if we activate both of these, which I'm going to do right here, right now. Um, getting a bit of lag in here. But um, if we activate both of those, you'll see we have one little part of the floor. Oh, hold on. Let me just check my FPS. Um, by the way, I only keep it at 30 FPS in case you... Uh, you're one of those people that use 120 FPS. Let me let the lag cool down a bit. Okay, I think that's kind of better. Uh, sorry about the lag, but, um, so as you can see, that's sort of one module for the floor. Essentially what this whole contraption is, is that being repeated constantly. Uh, in, so, um, sort of chronologically, like, we're gonna have, like, I don't know, depending on however long you want to make it, let's make ours, like, this long. Um, right, so, now we're gonna place in the blocks that are gonna push the floor into place, right here. So, basically, you're gonna wanna make something that's gonna be a bit like this, in terms of style. Um, this way, the pistons, when they push it in, the stone slabs will cover a full floor. I've only made this hallway in a version that allows for a two-block wide hallway. But you can make it as tall as you want. Obviously, that has nothing to do with the redstone contraption. This redstone contraption only has to do with the floor. So, um, basically, as you can see, this is sort of all the pistons you're ever you're gonna use in this whole thing. Um, and now here's where we're gonna start making um, them be pushed out. We're gonna start making the contraption that pushes them out. I mean, the pistons already that, but we're gonna help make it so that it goes in like, uh, that, so that it goes like. All the way open. So, basically, essentially, um, you could build this thing right here. Um, it, the basic part is going to look something like this. And as you can see, if we power this, um, we'll do it with a button. Or I need to place it there. We'll see that that goes like that. This will power the first four pistons, or the first maybe five because of the. Yeah, the first four pistons will be powered when we press this button. In case you're wondering why they go on like that, it's because right here, when this is powered, this immediately waits zero seconds. Here, with one tick, it waits 0.1 seconds. Here, it waits 0.2. Here, it waits 0.3. 0.4. Um, so, um, that's sort of why it, and that's sort of how it works mainly. It, um slowly waits through all of that and it that means it goes at 10 blocks per second because it's triggering one after another with a 10 second delay between each because that's the point that's zero seconds 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 to power now here's where it's complicated you can't put five ticks on a repeater 
Um, so you could do something like this. But it's not very efficient. Eventually you're gonna have something that's gonna look something like that. And that's gonna just take up a crazy amount of space. So the a method that I figured out is sort of uh, looks a bit like this. Let's build this. So you're gonna wanna have a three tick repeater running into two pieces of redstone. Um, and then you're gonna want that firing into the piston. This is basically the module right there um that part right there that little curve the loop um um is essentially what's going to power uh it, it's what's going to do the delaying so as you can see uh hold on right we can't place it there um hold on wait why are the first two being powered at once are they no that's just my eyes yeah that's just my eyes um i thought the first two were being powered at once but um so basically, um, now we sort of continue with the same algorithm. We just do one tick right here, then we do two ticks right here, then we do three ticks right here, then we do four ticks right here. And as soon as you want to, um, uh, and as soon as you want to go any farther, you just add a three tick repeater right there, running into some redstone, and that goes over to here, and then you make a repeater right there, and then you place that down. That's essentially everything you're gonna need for this thing. Um, obviously you can make it longer if you want to. You'll obviously need a few more of these little, um, 0 0.4 second delay modules, but yeah, so we're gonna actually build this out a bit farther right now. Um, here, let's place in the pistons. Hold on, that was supposed to be there. And as you can see, when we power this whole thing, um, we should have one side of the whole system done. So let's power this with a lever this time. Um, and as you can see, we have sort of a beautiful retracting thing. And um, so all we basically need to do is we need to do this for the other side. Um, so it's the same story. We're going to build this module again. And just to quickly review it. Um, you could build it sort of in a different format any way you want. There's probably a million ways to do this. Um, might grab the possibilities are, um, almost endless. <laughs> Obviously, there's no such thing as infinity, so they can't really be truly endless, but maybe I'll do a science video on that. I've always thought of starting sort of a Minecraft science channel, sort of like, um, Game Theory or, uh, Vsauce 3, I believe, does a bit of science stuff. Um, so, as you can see, we're just building the same module over and over again. Um, and like I said, any way you want it... Well, now I'm quoting the Journey song. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. But, um, um, basically, you can just... Um, you, can, you can technically do the thing where you go, like... Where once there's a four tick repeater, you just do that and then that. But when it comes to redstone and hardware and programming and stuff, it's not the most efficient thing. Just, it's weird. There's like, it's just not the most efficient thing because when you, what you really want is you really want a repeating pattern that's standard, uh, almost robotic. Um, and so you wouldn't want to sort of freestyle so much here. That's, sort of my idea, um, I, I just lost that, oh, there we go, the lag's coming back, um, I almost had no lag for a second, but yeah, so, you could build this to any extent you want, you'll need a lot of repeaters if you're building this in survival mode, I don't do much survival mode, um, but a video is coming out tomorrow, that is a, my let's play series, um, and as you can see here, we are just about done right so um hold on let me just quickly check the recording time we're about nine minutes in so there's actually a 15 minute limit on youtube for some reason unless you like um allow it so now as you can see if we um power this right here that comes out if we power this right here that comes out so now we essentially just need something to power both of them <laughs> and um so we're going to build a little circuit down here. We're going to put two 
three pieces of redstone. Now you notice that connects. That is not going to be good. So um, we're just going to build this down and across over right to here where we're building the same module. Um, build that there. And then, essentially, if you power one of these things, that whole thing opens and closes. So, now we're basically done around here. Um, you can obviously decorate any way you want. You can put like, um, as long as it's not like a slime block, which might stick to some stuff, uh, or a, if you, you obviously can't place obsidian or furnaces or any immovable object in to alternate for the stone slabs because pistons cannot push immovable objects. That's why they're called immovable objects. But, um, anyway, so this about wraps it up. I'm going to show you this whole thing fully functioning. Um, so feel free to drop a like, subscribe, um, um, uh, show this to your friends, um, tweet about it or Facebook or Instagram it. Um, um, but as you can see, when we power this, that works all nice and smooth. And we have our hallway. Anytime we want to turn off the hallway, we turned it off. So, um, as I said, I hope you enjoy this. And goodbye.